Let's start with a brief history. It was the 14th of October, 2017. A mysterious cosmic object was passing by our planet and no one knew what it was. Not even my nosy neighbor. Cosmic objects are any objects that exist in space beyond Earth's atmosphere, including planets, moons, asteroids, comets, stars, black holes, galaxies, and clusters of galaxies. But you know all that. Today, however, we are going on a journey to find out about a mysterious object that scientists have been trying to classify for six years now. And only one seemed to have a theory that fits. Fasten your seatbelts, because this is going to be fun. Robert Werrick, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, discovered the interstellar object five days later as it was leaving the solar system. He used Hawaii's Pan-STARRS telescope to make the discovery. It was a strange object from the minute it was found, with a strange orbit, strange speed, and strange features. The unusual object was named Oumuamua, and it was the solar system's first known interstellar visitor. But here is the thing, it left the solar system faster than it had entered, never to return again. And here is when it becomes really interesting. While tracking Oumuamua, we expected, perhaps naively, is that it would follow a hyperbolic orbit, as though the only force acting on it would be gravitational. What we found, however, was that a normal, perfectly hyperbolic orbit didn't quite fit what we observed. It was as though there was an additional acceleration, as though something unobserved were pushing it, in addition to the influence of gravity. Shaped like an elongated cigar, by the time it was spotted it had already zipped by our own sun, performed a slick hairpin turn, and begun hurtling off in another direction. Two things in particular fixated scientists. The first was its mysterious acceleration away from the sun, which was hard to reconcile with many ideas about what it might have been made of. The second was its peculiar shape by some estimates. It was ten times as long as it was wide. Over the years that followed, scientific journals and global media headlines swarmed with speculation. Was it a block of solid hydrogen? Could it have been a debris? Or, as Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb proposed, was it a man-made structure built by an intelligent extraterrestrial civilization? Hold on to your horses, because things are about to get crazy. Okay guys, Avilobe is back again, and this time with a follow-up research on Oumuamua's 2017 visit. This time, he suggests that not only are there aliens in our galaxy, but there are actually four quintillion alien crafts speeding across our solar system. To be fair, Loeb isn't outright saying Oumuamua was an alien spacecraft per se, but he is saying we should be open to that possibility. In light of that outlook, he's basically asking what respectable scientists would never deign to. How many possible Oumuamua is could there be in our solar system that go unnoticed? Loeb and fellow Harvard astronomer Kosinazel looked at how many interstellar visitors we've already spotted. One can use recent rates of detection of interstellar objects and known capabilities to estimate the density of similar objects in the solar neighborhood, the astronomers wrote in the study, as quoted by the Daily Beast. Since Oumuamua, there have been three more interstellar objects detected by astronomers, making it four in eight years. At that rate, Loeb and Ezela calculated there could be up to a staggering 40 decillion interstellar objects in the entire solar system, including areas beyond the reach of our instruments. That number is brought down to the more humble 4 quintillion figure when limiting the scope to the habitable zone near the Sun, which is potentially exciting since, if some of them are aliens, they'd be easier to detect. Some of Loeb's theories are boundary-pushing, but he never fails to raise some fascinating points. 
even if the majority of four quintillion interstellar objects turn out to just be bits of space rock, which Loeb admits is likely, that still leaves quite a bit of room for some of them to be alien spacecraft. But where are they? The first thing that comes to my mind is the Kuiper Belt, a cold, dark, and distant space in the outer solar system. It's primarily made up of icy objects, dwarf planets, dust, and comets. So far, over 2,000 Kuiper Belt objects have been catalogued. Researchers believe these are only a tiny fraction of the total number of objects scientists think are out there. But one thing that fascinated NASA in the Kuiper Belt is the 15810 Aron. A quick Google search will tell you that Aron is a Kuiper Belt object, a large rock that orbits round outside the orbit of Neptune. But is it a rock? In April 2016, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft reached the Kuiper Belt. After capturing its first target, Pluto, the probe turned its sight towards a large object on a strange trajectory. Yes, we are talking about 15810 Aron, named after the Celtic god of death, war and the other world. Now, why is it so special, you ask? Well, most of the objects in the Kuiper Belt are made of rock and ice. But Aron doesn't move like any of catalogued objects in the belt. This has made scientists question if it is made of something completely different, something much stronger, because it's rotating so fast that centrifugal force should have torn it apart. How could something spin so fast and stay intact? Scientists believe that the fast spin is creating artificial gravity, and gravity would be the most vital thing needed for long interstellar travel. You cannot have astronauts floating around the spacecraft while traversing hundreds of light years. This probed the new horizon to take a closer look at the object. And here is when things turn strange. As the probe tried to get a closer look, suddenly, all of its sensors went dead, transmissions cut off. It was as if someone was monitoring our presence. Someone or something that did not want us to know about them. But just before losing contact, NASA observed that Aron was spinning like a large spaceship would. Now, you can say that it might have been a technical glitch, but here is when things get crazier. Only when New Horizon moved away from Aron, it suddenly came back to life as if nothing had ever happened in the first place. Now I would leave it to you to assume what it was, but if it's an intelligent alien civilization, it makes complete sense to stay far away from Earth and silently observe us from the cold and dark space in the Kuiper Belt. And whenever the need arises for a closer inspection, hop onto a spacecraft and camouflage it so that it appears as a mere space rock to the beings of the planet. Loeb also suggested in the past that Oumuamua could be a piece of alien space junk, a defunct sailcraft, that has accidentally found its way to us. Or, it may be an active reconnaissance craft, sent here to check out our solar system, he had written in the study. There are reasons to favor the latter explanation, Loeb said. For starters, Oumuamura's very discovery was something of an anomaly. Our own solar system doesn't shed so many Oumuamua-like objects. In addition, Oumuamua's motion is roughly coincident with the average motion of material in our patch of the Milky Way galaxy, a kinematic space known as the local standard of rest. Indeed, that's why the object's system of origin has been so hard to pin down. If I created an instrument whose identity I would like to hide, I would put it at the local standard of rest, Loeb said. Astronomers have used the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia and the Allen Telescope Array in Northern California to listen for any possible pings coming from Oumuamua. The object has stayed silent to this day. What are your thoughts on this? Do you believe Avi Loeb has gone too far this time? Or is he well ahead of the game? So, would you like to travel to the other side of the universe or stick with us here? at the edge of the universe until we meet again.